Hey there guys and welcome to the second contest update video for the third contest to appear on the Duct Tape Stuff channel. This is the final video for the third contest and in this video we're going to be going over all the people who won the, in the contest. So it's going to be really exciting so let's get started here. So as you probably know the theme of this contest was all about decoration and that's all that the, the wallets were judged on it was decoration and nothing else and in those 192 entries I saw a crazy and a crazy amount of really really awesome decorations I mean you guys were just just blowing me away with the with the decorations that you guys put on wallets I had no idea that you guys were so talented with making decorations so just put give yourself you know a nice pat on the back for making just really cool decorations and just flooding the contest with them so I, I pretty much watched all 192 entries it took me a long time but I think I've found pretty much the, the best six people which I wanted to you know declare the winners of the contest so without any further ado let's get started here and declare the winners okay so we're gonna start with the three runners up first remember there were six places for this contest there were three main places first second and third as well as three runners up which you're each gonna receive a wristband in the mail and I'm going to be linking the videos that they posted in the annotations on the sides here so as I talk about them I'm going to be linking them up so you guys can see which ones won the contest the first runner-up the that we're going to go over was ashy bear 11 and she actually made a really really cool great wave Japanese painting wallet which you can see right over here and it was just a really amazing wallet a lot of great detail in there and it's just an overall beautiful wallet so that was the very first runner-up the second runner-up was the Jesus Freaks TN who made a sick and I mean a sick bowling wallet which you can find right over here and believe me that was a crazy wallet it had a lot of cool decoration on that especially because with the, the bowling ball and the, and, the, and the pins and the flames you just gotta check that one out right over here so definitely check that out Jesus Freaks TN is the second runner-up for the contest the first runner-up for the decorations contest was opt for you spelled OPPT for you, and he actually made a Mario themed wallet which had Mario on it and a mushroom as well as several bullet bills and a kind of a whole Mario stage on there as well. So big props to him for coming up with the Mario you know designs for that. It was really really cool to put that onto a wallet. And that concludes our three runners up of the contest. So now let's go over. Oh, I'm sorry. He can you can pick out his his you can see his video right up here in the annotation. So check his that video out, and that was a really really cool video. So now we're going to go over the first, second, and third places for the contest. Really is where it gets really exciting because those three runners up each received a wristband. But obviously, as you know, if you watched the original contest video, the first, second, and third places actually got something really really cool. So let's get started here, declaring the first, second, and third places. In third place for the contest, we have the Furfalurf with with a sweet and I, and I mean a sweet M and M's wallet for the contest. It was pretty crazily detailed. I must say, I looked at that the first time and I could not believe that it was duct tape. Obviously, it was, but golly, I mean that was a crazily detailed wallet. It almost perfectly just represented an M and M's wallet package on a wallet. So you can check his video video out right over here. It's just an amazing, amazing wallet and he definitely deserves third place in this contest. So the third place goes to the Furf Furf Alerf, it's a great channel name, with the M&M's wallet which you can check out right over here. Second place for the contest was Maisie Girl 9090 with a Sanity Not Included wallet, which you can check out right over here. And that was another stunning wallet when I first saw it. I mean, I was my mouth was literally hanging open for a few minutes after I watched that video. Just a totally amazing wallet and a lot of great, great detail in there. I actually didn't know what Sanity Not Included was until I actually saw the wallet, so I actually had to look that up to see what it was. But golly, I didn't just know what it was to see that that was a crazy crazy good design right on there so you can check that video up right over here and Maisie Girl 9090 is the second place winner for the contest so now the time has come for first place drum roll drum roll because this is the probably the obviously the best place to get first place got an, is going to get an omnigrid cutting mat electric blue, blue roll duct tape and a brown roll duct tape as well as obviously a wristband everyone was getting a wristband in the channel including the runner-ups which each got one First place for the contest goes to the duct tape experience, which you can check the video out for that right here. And it was just, just an amazingly detailed Monopoly wallet. Just probably one of the most detailed wallets that I've ever seen on YouTube. Probably overshadows a lot of my own wallets in a lot of ways. So it was just, it was, it, it's actually a giant Monopoly board on there. You gotta check out the video right here just to believe it. You gotta believe it to see it. It's just an amazingly detailed wallet. 
and I think definitely deserved first place in this contest. So the, uh, the duct tape experience with the Monopoly wallet got first place in this contest. So those are announcing all the, the places for the contest, the th first, second, and third, as well as the runner-ups. So yeah, that pretty much concludes naming all the places and all the people who won the contest. Um, let me give you a bit of a, I guess, an insight into how I was judging. Obviously, the rules of the contest the, it was all based on on decoration. So obviously, the design of the wallet didn't count at all. So you know, if you had 16 credit card holders or 40 credit card holders, it didn't matter. All was it was about was the decoration. And pretty much, I mean, a lot of you guys went all out with decoration. Obviously, those wallets were definitely chosen to win the contest. But all of you guys can be very proud of yourselves because you, I, the main purpose of this contest was to push your boundaries with working with decoration. And believe me, I think a lot of you guys definitely, definitely did that. So, I mean, golly, I mean, you guys should be, definitely be proud of yourself because I, I haven't seen de decorations quite like this, even on my own videos. So, I mean, there just was just a crazy contest and you guys definitely push the boundaries with what you can do with duct tape. So let me give you a bit, I guess, a bit of an insight of what I was um, judging this stuff on. Uh, basically I was looking at the amount of colors used, I was looking at the detail, um, definitely the wallets which used a whole bunch of different angles and stuff like that. Obviously if you tried to copy a image that was already complicated to begin with, then you had a lot more chances to go, you know, all out with it, which is pretty much what you could do. But obviously, you know, you just go with your skill level. That's how you improve. And eventually, you know, you'll be extremely good with duct tape in practically no time. So that was kind of give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look of how I was looking at, at the uh, the entries. Because obviously 192 entries, I had to come up with some sort of criteria. Otherwise, you know, I, I would have never gotten through 192 entries any other way. So that's giving you a little bit of behind the scenes tour, I guess, of the contest. So that pretty much concludes everything for the contest. Now, like I said before, if you if I named your your name as one of the people who won the contest, I will be PMing you, private messaging you, and I will just ask for your address. And then, as soon as I can, I will ship the packages out to you guys, and I'll let you know you know when it's being put in the mail, so you guys can expect it. Um, in the past, I've asked kind of kind of like you know just just you know politely ask people to make a unpackaging video or something along those lines when you do receive your package, just so you know that people can see you know like what you got in your pat in your prize and something was actually sent out to people so it's totally up to you if you want to film like a prize uh, video but you know I'll just put that in the private message if you guys do want to film one then I will definitely link it like I did with the annotations in this video so hopefully your channel will get you know a few more views because it was linked in this video here so that pretty much concludes the, the third contest on the duct tape stuff channel like I said before I will be taking a short break before we film another contest, I don't think it's going to be really, really soon because this contest was huge. So I want to get like you know a big contest out of the way to kind of satisfy you guys for a little while before I post another one. So little one, next one is probably a little bit, a little bit of a long way away. So just you know, just bear with me. There will be one coming eventually, but it's definitely not a high priority right now. So today is Friday, so that means that next week, the June seventeenth, is the Duct Tape Stuff Festival. So. See you guys out there for that, and hopefully you guys enjoy the third contest here on the Duck Tip Stuff channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.